Hello, welcome to my channel. My name's Tony, and this is Real At Home Barbecue. I am here to help you learn how you can up your barbecue game with some really simple information and techniques. I, like you, am not a chef. I'm not a pit master. I'm just a normal guy that loves barbecue. I've been doing it my whole life. This is not a professional kitchen. In fact, this is my humble abode. You will not see a bunch of fancy and expensive barbecuing hardware and equipment. You're gonna see the things that you can pick up at your local grocery store or hardware store. Today, we're gonna to talk about ribs, specifically pork ribs. The question I get all the time is what's the difference between baby back pork ribs, pork spare ribs, and St. Louis style ribs. So we're gonna get into that. Before we do, I wanna ask you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And uh, when this is all done, if you like what you saw, hit that like button also. You're definitely gonna to wanna to subscribe. I've got more stuff coming. I got a video coming pretty soon that's gonna be about the simplest and most easy way to light your charcoal without getting any of that nasty lighter fluid smelled. In fact, you can go ahead and throw that lighter fluid away forever. Okay, here we go. Okay, as you can see, I've got three racks of ribs here. Pick these up today, all from the same store, same brand. I've got first pork spare ribs and pork St. Louis style ribs and pork loin back ribs. These are the baby back ribs, okay? First thing I wanna point out is the price difference. Your pork spare ribs here, this is a ginormous double pack. There's two racks of ribs in here weighing 10.44 pounds at a price of $2.19 a pound. Great deal, okay? And I've got your pork St. Louis style ribs here. This package is just a single rack of ribs. It is 3.34 pounds of ribs at a price of $3.69 a pound, okay? And then on the pork loin baby back ribs, this is also a single pack. It weighs 3.4 pounds and at a price of $4.19 a pound. I find this to be very typical that uh, your pork ribs are gonna be a little less expensive than your St. Louis style ribs, and that's gonna be even less expensive than your baby back ribs. So first, let's talk about where these ribs come from. Got this on the damn little chart here. First of all, your baby back ribs. The baby back ribs, as the name implies, comes from the upper portion right up top of the back of the pig. So if you have your, your live Wilbur here, this is gonna be positioned kind of like this at the top of the pig. So you're gonna be kind of petting him right up here on the upper portion of his back, okay? Now let's look at the pork spare ribs. These big monsters are this piece right here, the lower piece, everything from this line, from the from the ends of the baby backs, all the way down, uh, wrapping down the bottom. These big monsters are gonna be more like positioned on the side of the pig, down like this. So if you're gonna be petting Wilbur, you're gonna be kind of more petting the side of the pig, all right? Now, your St. Louis style ribs are actually just this. I'm gonna position it more accurately. Okay, you've got your baby backs, you've got your entire pork spare rib. These guys are right there. That's your St. Louis style rib. On your chart here, it's this piece in the middle, right between these two yellow lines, right in here. That's your baby, your um, St. Louis style ribs. So all St. Louis style ribs are, is you take your pork spare ribs, and you trim off what is referred to as the uh, pork rib tips. On the back side here, you can see it's pretty much just a line. Right here across. Cut that off. You're gonna be cutting this stuff off here. Now, here's what I like to do. I don't like going to the store and buying St. Louis style pork ribs. Reason why is sometimes they're great, sometimes they're cut nicely, but what I find a lot of time is they trim off too much stuff, too much meat, 
and I like to square them up really nicely and make them really pretty. I like to make sure that I leave all the meat on there that I want, but I want it to be nice and square so I can control that. Not to mention, it's a lot less expensive per pound to buy the untrimmed pork spare ribs. And then I get this other piece of meat here that I can do whatever I want with. I might, uh, I might barbecue them also. I might throw them into uh, some chili or some other concoction that I make. Anyways, I got a lot of options that I can do with this, so I don't mind paying less, keeping this meat, and doing something with it. Really, that's all it is. That's the difference. Now, the preference of what you like, some people love the baby back ribs. Baby back rib ribs are great. They're shorter. They've usually got a lot of good, thick meat on them. I haven't had a lot of luck in the restaurants, you know, especially some of the chain restaurants. A lot of times they're kind of thin and I don't like them. But uh, at home, these are fantastic barbecued. Whether you're gonna grill them hot and fast or, or do more of a slow cook, they're delicious, they're tender, they're, they're really great. My true favorite though is the St. Louis style pork spare rib. But again, I'm gonna cut them myself. I'm just gonna get the pork spare ribs. I'm gonna cut off the tips. I love the way the uh, St. Louis style ribs have it. Just, they're just big, they've got a lot of meat on them. Uh, they've got uh, plenty of fat. If you like to leave some of the extra fat on there or if you want to trim it off, they're super, they're just, they're just great. They are really my favorite ribs to cook. And that's it, that's, that's the simple um, difference between the types of ribs, okay? Hope that helped. Okay, now you know the difference between baby back ribs, spare ribs, and St. Louis style ribs. Now, if you want to learn how to take those spare ribs and convert them into St. Louis style ribs, you are definitely going to want to subscribe because I'm about to take those bad boys and trim them up, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do it so they come out beautiful. So, thanks again very much for watching. I appreciate you. Please, if you like what you saw, if this was helpful, hit that thumbs up button. Give me that like. I really appreciate that. And don't forget to subscribe. I look forward to making more videos, and I hope to be a big help to you. Thank you so much.